why did I say it like that? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby, and today I'm back for a what I eat in a day video. And as you can see from the thumbnail, I am back to calorie counting. I will get into that sometime later. I don't feel like talking about it right now, but we will get back into that. But I just want to show you my breakfast real quick. I have one of my homemade bagels from my last video, and they are so good. Every night I go to bed, and I'm so excited to wake up and eat one of these bagels. They are just delicious. Um, I am here. One of my, my first daycare girlies here. She's just having some iPad time. So I'm going to hang out, eat this bagel, and then I will hop back on here next time I eat something. Hey guys, so it's about 10 o'clock. The daycare kids are having morning snack and I'm having an Alani. This is the cherry slush flavor. I was going to try to talk to you about the reason I went back to calorie counting, but the kids are being loud and talking, which is fine. They're kids. They're supposed to be having conversation while they eat snack. So we will, I will talk about that once they all leave later today. Um, but yeah, I definitely do want to give you an update on why I chose to start calorie counting again. And yeah, I'll say I've been doing it for a week and I feel really good being back doing it. Um, it's just, I just needed help staying on track a little bit. And like I said, I'll get into that a little bit later. But right now I'm just going to enjoy this. We're going to do our snowman project. Um, I did the first part of it Monday. Today's Thursday and we're going to do the second part today. I have to do things right now the way the kids' schedules are. Mondays and Thursdays are the way I can get every kid to participate. So if I I had my Christmas parties on Mondays and Thursdays, when I do activities, I try to do on Mondays and Thursdays so that everybody gets a turn. Yeah. Yeah, one of our friends did hers on Monday, so she's gonna help me do the babies. Are you gonna make a snowman? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um. By the time this video came out, there should have been a short. I should have made a short about the snowman project. That should have be out by now. I think I said my last video. It might be out, it might not, but for sure when this video comes out, I will have that short posted. So definitely go back and check it out. Yeah, so we're gonna finish snack, do our snowman, and I will show you the next thing I eat. Alrighty guys, it is about 10 after 12. The kiddos are eating their lunches. Just put it down and then eat your sandwich and your little fish. Um, I'm going to eat a yogurt. This is the Oikios Triple Zero Strawberry Flavor. Mm, so good. I took a break from yogurt for a while and now I'm kind of back on it. And it's a really good mid morning snack or lunchtime snack for me. It's lots of protein and keeps me full. Those bagels seem to have been keeping me fuller. So I usually don't get hungry for this until around lunchtime. Usually I would eat it mid morning. But the bagel, the bagel is so big. I think next time I make them, I'm going to try to split them up into, instead of eight, I might do like 10 to 12. So they're not as big, um, but they're so good. What? I'm done. Why don't you get a couple more apples? Oh my goodness. Nobody is really that hungry today. Um, except for me, I'm hungry. Can you please put your spoon down? You don't have any more pears left, so just leave your spoon down. Okay? You don't need it anymore. All right, so yeah, this is this, and I will hop back on here once they're all asleep and I have my lunch made. All right, guys, it's about 1.30, and here's what I'm having for lunch today. I just have two pieces of the Sam's Choice Bacon Lover's Pizza from Walmart and a banana. Hey friends, um, it is 4.30, all my daycare kiddos are gone, and I'm going to have a little snack to decompress. I'm having some peanut butter M&Ms, and I put them in the microwave a little bit so they're a little bit melty. It's been my like favorite snack lately. It's funny, I was eating those pretty close to bedtime for several days, and I don't know if it's because I my body's not used to having that much sugar that close to bed, because I haven't been having dessert all that much, at least not right before bed. But um, I was having like crazy, vivid, anxious dreams or making me feel like super anxious. So I'm trying to, I'm switching it up and having this after work and using it as an after work decompressed snack instead of an evening dessert. So hopefully that helps with the crazy dreams, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go enjoy these for a little bit and then I will talk to you all about why I decided to go back to calorie counting. Hey guys. So I just finished my 
M&Ms. I am doing my bike pedals right now. I have not been doing the best job of sticking with my morning routine this week um, for various reasons, but yesterday, so yesterday I didn't read my Bible and I didn't get a workout in. And today I'm determined to not let that happen two days in a row. So I plan on, um, okay. I didn't plan, I'm doing it now. I'm doing my exercise right now and then while the kids were napping, I did my Bible time. And then I just need to, I'll probably take some time to pray while I'm getting ready for bed and then my water. Um, I just did not feel like lugging around my big jug today. I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't have the energy to fill up that whole thing right now. So I just, I'm gonna drink four of these. So this is my third one. It's a 32 ounce thing. So if I drink four of them, that's a gallon. Um, so yeah, if I finish this and then finish one more, I will be good on my water for the day. So I plan on meeting all of my goals today. I just was having kind of a rough week. Like I said a little bit ago, I wasn't sleeping the best, having some weird night sleeps and just haven't had a lot of energy this week. The one day the weather was kind of bad. Um, well, I thought it was gonna be bad Monday morning. So I just planned to not go to the gym with my friend, but I did still come downstairs and bike pedal, but I just, that kind of like threw me off. Starting my week, not doing my normal routine. Threw me for a little bit of a loop, but it's okay. We're gonna get back to it. So now let's talk about why I'm back to calorie counting. Um, so I'm trying to think where to start. Um, I, it was, I've been doing it for a whole week now. This is, yeah, I've done it for a whole week. I think it was last Thursday was the first day. I calorie counted. Um, so last Tuesday, not like two days ago, Tuesday, but a week ago, Tuesday, I was just feeling very snacky. Like I just wanted to eat all the things and I haven't been keeping junk in the house because I went on this whole rant before about how I'm just the type of person I can't keep junk food in the house because I will binge eat it and I'll go crazy. And so there was a while where I just had nothing in the house. And that day I just was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't live a life where I can't have snacks. And it was driving me crazy. So I went to the grocery store and spent $40 just on snack foods. And I came home and this might sound silly, but I prayed over the food because I was like, Lord, please don't let me binge on this food. Please help me to stay strong and just enjoy these things that I really like in moderation. And that's what I've been doing. I didn't binge eat that night. I haven't binge ate since I bought the snacks. Most of the snacks are still in the cupboard. The only thing that I ate all of was the peanut butter. I bought peanut butter M&Ms that night and they lasted a couple days, but I just had regular servings of them. I didn't eat a ton. And so I bought more and then I bought like a little jar of Nutella. I was having Nutella bagels for a little bit. I haven't, I didn't do that today though. I just, and having butter. Sometimes I'll put the Nutella on crackers. So I bought some crackers. I bought uh, Famous Amos individual bags of cookies. I bought cheesy uh, puff corn. I'm trying to think what else. Um, some Nerds gummy clusters, some Tootsie Pops, just several things that I just was really wanting. And I haven't even had one bag of the chocolate chip cookies. I think I've had two Tootsie Pops. I've had a couple handfuls of Nerds Gummy Clusters since last Tuesday, and I've just been doing really, really well. And that, I think it was that night or the next day, I think it was the next day, I was talking to my friend Aaron on Instagram. We both are just like very back and forth with calorie counting and things like that. And I was like, I think, I came to the conclusion. I was like, I need to, I need to make a choice. So one, I can either not have the stuff in the house and not calorie count and just intuitively eat and let myself have that stuff on occasion. But that was just making me like, I don't know, I was just, it wasn't working. And I've been doing that for months. Before I came back onto YouTube, I think I took a long break, like from April to maybe September, I don't know. But I was tracking calories, I forgot that I did this. I tracked calories from July to like September and then I stopped right before I came back. Um, I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Um, and I think that was becoming overwhelming, so I stopped. And then ever since fall, like eating intuitively just isn't working because for some reason I just feel like I can't have this junk food and I don't, oh, I don't know. And then I go this whole thing about healthy foods, like foods that are actually good for our bodies and 
I don't know, I was just becoming overwhelmed and I was like, so I had the choice of either continue what I'm doing that has not been working for four months, three or four months, or go back to calorie counting, which I know because of doing 75 hard, I will never do that again, but because of doing 75 hard and calorie counting for 75 days, I ate exactly what I wanted. I ate jelly beans, I ate mini chocolate eggs, it was around Easter time when I did it, I ate anything I wanted within a calorie range and I lost weight every single week. And at that point last week when I was deciding what to do, I was so just entangled in this web of like, foods I can't eat, foods I can't eat, homemade all your foods so it doesn't have bad ingredients. It was just this, I just needed to untangle the web. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna go back to calorie counting. And that was choice two, like choice two is go back to calorie counting and eat anything you want within your calorie range. So that's what I've been doing for a week and it just feels really good. I've had peanut butter M&Ms almost every single day. It's been a great treat. I have still been eating. My meals are mostly the healthier option. So you saw my homemade bagels I had for breakfast. Um, my lunch today was the frozen pizza, but I usually have been having sandwiches with my homemade bread. I buy good lunch meat. I make my own mayonnaise. And then my dinners, you'll see that in a little bit, is I made homemade tortillas, I made these chicken breast bites. Well, you saw me make those in my last vlog. So I've been using the ingredients I made for my last vlog to, for dinner. So I've had like the wraps and the chicken, and on that I put my homemade Chick-fil-A sauce and um, some onion and some lettuce. And then I have some applesauce with it. Those have been my dinners. So my meals have been pretty good, but it's just whenever I have a snack, I allow myself to have a snack and I don't feel guilty about it because I know I'm not overdoing it. And that was really just, I don't know, that was, this is what I need to do because I have to stop going back and forth and eventually, eventually one day, I'm not going to calorie count till I'm like 55 years old. Like I'm going to eventually be able to not, but I've, I never, I've never given it a long-term chance. 75 days is the most I've ever done it, and I feel like that doesn't count because 75 hard is so intense where I was just looking forward to it being over, and I was just like, it was something to kind of push me, and this time I just want to do it under normal circumstances, and I don't know, I don't under normal circumstances, and do it normally without this like deadline or this goal or anything at all. So I haven't really weighed in at all since I started doing this, but I, I think I'm just gonna hold off and weigh in. Today's the 26th, I'm gonna weigh in um, on the 1st of February and I'll calculate all of that and I plan on giving you guys an update for January as far as meeting my four goals I have for myself and my weight. So. Hopefully it works and hopefully I can stick with it. I plan on making myself stick with it. There was one day I didn't track, it was Saturday. I had a birthday party and a baby shower and I just wanted to enjoy those events and just not be like, okay, I have to remember I had this cupcake, but then I had this pasta and this so I can calculate it in my calorie counter. Like I just wanted to enjoy the events and have a good time with my friends and family, but I don't have anything on the books for the next several months. So it's gonna be pretty easy to keep track of my calories there. The only thing that's gonna be a little bit difficult is Wednesdays, we have dinner at my church. And last night I did my best to calculate the dinner. The dessert, I had no idea what the calorie count was, but I think I had like 1600-ish in before the dessert. So it was, I don't think the dessert was more than like 400 calories at all like it probably was like two something would be my guess two or three and my calorie range is like 17 I want to stay in the 1700s most days if I'm having an extra snacky day I can go in the 18 and into the 1900s I'd like to not hit 2000 um but if I go into the 1900s I want to do that maybe one or two days a week I don't want it to be an everyday thing so yeah it's been going really well I've really been sticking to my January or my daily goals so far in January, except for yesterday. We had a little hiccup with a couple of them, but it's all right, I'm getting right back to it. Like I said, even if I have a day where I don't meet some of my goals, I just wanna make sure I meet that goal the next day so I'm not having two days in a row of not meeting that specific goal. And I feel like it's easier to bounce back this time. I've set goals for myself in the past. I've set 
goals where I try to get up in the mornings and be productive and I'll do it for a little bit and then I fall off and I just don't get back on. But this time, I'm like, it's no big deal. I'm going to get up and go to the gym tomorrow. It's it's going to be fine. And I'll do it. And yeah, it it's, it's just different this time. I don't know. And I feel really good about calorie counting again. So I just wanted to fill you in on that. And yeah, keep you updated. So I'm just gonna finish pedaling and we will be back in a second with dinner. Alrighty friends, here is my dinner. I have a chicken wrap here. It's the same one from my last video. It has the chicken tenders. There's a couple right here. I had too much chicken in there so I had to pull a couple pieces out. So my chicken tenders, homemade Chick-fil-A sauce, some sauteed red onion and lettuce. And then I ran out of bacon. Usually I've been putting bacon on it. I have some cheddar puff corn. I had some extra calories left today, so I added some of that, and I have a little thing of applesauce, and I'm drinking my collagen drink. So this has water, collagen, grape drink flavoring, and then I put two tablespoons of elderberry syrup. If I remember, I'll just put one tablespoon in, but I kind of wasn't feeling the best. I could feel a sore throat coming on, so I've been adding two tablespoons the last couple days, and my start of a sore throat has gone away so i'm very thankful for that i bought this from i found them on um tiktok they're popple tree creek farms i ordered from them and yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing it's about seven o'clock so that's gonna end my night i'm gonna finish this up and then go get ready for bed um yeah so that's all i'm gonna eat today i i'm gonna see how much i need to finish my collagen drink and then i probably still have about half of this to go but i'm going to try really hard to finish it. I might not finish the whole thing because I don't want to be up going to the bathroom a bunch tonight, but even if I don't finish that, I'll still have it like 100 ounces in. And my actual daily goal is 80 ounces. I try to hit a gallon most days, but my goal is to hit at least 80 and I'll have at least 100 in once I finish my collagen drink. So I'm not super worried about the water situation, but yeah, so that's where we're gonna end our day. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, like always, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. All of those things do really, really help out my channel. Also, come find me over on TikTok and Instagram right here. I know I've been posting my shorts onto YouTube. And those, a lot of, I post those same videos onto Instagram and TikTok, but there are different things I do on TikTok and Instagram that I don't do here. Instagram, I get on my stories. Not every day, but I've been getting on several days a week lately. Just randomly I'll come on and talk to you or show you what I'm up to during the day. TikTok, I post the same videos here, but there are also some videos over on my TikTok that I only post there that are questions people have asked me on my TikTok videos, and then I'll reply with a video. So there is some different stuff over there that I don't post here. Just, you know, if you want to see other things. Um, yeah, come find me and that'll be fun. So thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.